So welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to Channeling Korea. Today is December the 27th, 2020. So it's a Sunday and when I um, tuned into the energy, so I actually saw a, um, I saw kind of like a video in my mind. It's, it's something like, I can only see the, the a pair of feet just walking around in nature and so this is the uh, the this is really the the closest that i was able to find of an image that represent what i saw when i was tuning into the energy of today and for this channel and what came to me was like we were walking in the Garden of Eden again. So that is what kind of like the energy that, that is um, coming to me. So whatever that means, I don't know, but that's kind of the energy that is that I'm tuning into. So let's let's kind of begin. So before I start the channeling, I would like to um, take everybody into a short meditation just to allow everyone to get here and um, let go of whatever it is that's on my on their mind and also for myself as well to let go of whatever that is that may be clouding my mind and just so that um, I can just get out of the way and allow the energy of Kriya to come through. So welcome again. Let's begin. Let's begin by just taking a deep breath in and let go. And then continue to breathe in and out according to the rhythm of your own breathing. And let your breath, let the rhythm of your breath be kind of the vehicle to help guide you into turning inward, tuning inward, to clear your mind, and just be here now in your body with everyone else on the call in this moment and also listening to this call later on. Just kind of be in this moment with yourself and use your breath, your breathing, your breath to help ground you and relax you. Relax you into this moment of now. as much as you can, start to elongate your breath. And as you elongate your breath, you also send a signal to your whole body to simply slow down, relax. It is safe. You're in a safe environment. You're in a safe space. You're here within your body. Absolutely accepting your body, loving everything in this moment. And set an intention to shift your focus now into your heart.
connect with your heart. And as you connect with your heart, choose to feel unconditional love. Whatever that means for you, choose to feel that in your heart. In this moment, in your heart, choose to hold space for unconditional love. To be in you. And all around you as well. Feel unconditional love in your heart. And when you can connect to that unconditional love, then send love to Mother Earth. Connect with the unconditional love of Mother Earth as well. And when you connect with the unconditional love of Mother Earth, feel Mother Earth returning your unconditional love a million times over. And also send love, send unconditional love to Father Sky, to the Sun. From your heart, through the top of your head. Send love to Father Sky and feel the unconditional love of Father Sky returning to you a million times over. Within your heart. Feel what it feels. to be connected, to be connected with yourself, with all parts of yourself. Be connected to your soul, connected to your entity, connected to your body, connected to your mental body and connected to your higher self, to all parts of yourself. And also connected to this beautiful playground that we're on with Mother Earth. And through Father Sky, be connected with all of creation. And allow this unconditional love within your heart to be connected.
We are all part of one. We are all. The most brilliant creation that the universe has ever co-created with us. We are all on this journey, this journey of discovery, of discovering what our life holds. Even though we are outside of time, And that right now, perhaps our conscious awareness of time is rather limited. But actually, we are outside of time. If you can tune into the eternity of this energy, you can tune in to what we see as humanity coming together. to walk bravely and gracefully on earth, to co-create not just co-create with one another, but co-create, truly co-create with nature like none of us has ever been able to think of how to co-create with nature in the past. We thought of nature as something that we need to tame or that we need to appropriate in order for nature to serve us. That level of co-creation does not serve us anymore. Nature is ready. Nature is ready to co-create with us on a different level. Nature is ready to co-create with us. So that we can support each other and join together. And we don't need to see nature as something that we need to rise above or tame or struggle against nature. It's our ally as well. Nature 
is our nourishment, our guide. Provider of our abundances. Let's get back. To that. Let us get back to that understanding that we are here to co-create with nature. To co-create. So that both nature and we humans would be able to create something that benefits both. Let's go back to looking at and treating nature as our ally. To look at all the creations of nature as our ally, the rocks, trees, the grass, the bees, the birds, the animals. They are all our allies. Let us get back to that. to begin to learn how to create with nature. And as we create, we find ways that we will be able to work with nature because we are a part of nature. We are not separate. It's the idea that we think that somehow we are better than, that we stand above nature. It has created a lot of disharmony in our mind. And that affects how our relationship is with nature. And part of part of this going into the next level of co-creation is this new understanding with nature. We have been so disconnected from nature. that that actually made us disconnected from our own nature as well. Going back to nature, co-creating with nature in mind. Let's 
going to help us to reconnect with our own nature as well. So that when we co-create, we co-create in harmony, in connection with who we are and with who we are in relationship to nature as well. We have been trained for such a long time to think of nature as something that is separate. But it is not. Nature is a part of us. And when we separate ourselves from nature, this attitude of disconnection is what is missing. when we can start to promote this connection and find this bridge and let go of our own distorted belief then we can start to create in harmony with nature, with all the animals, with all the other creations. Some may think of this as being a step back, but it is not. Imagine how it feels when you take the time to observe nature. To fall in love with nature. To learn from nature. And really learn nature works. The wisdom, the inherent wisdom within nature that is missing from our knowledge. When we start to get back to that, start to reconnect ourselves with nature. Start to appreciate nature. To 
start to fall in love with nature again. And when we can do more of that, imagine how that can change the way we co-create with one another and with our environment. Let that be something. that you aspire to. Imagine what you can do when you can connect with nature, when you can connect with the earth. and tell the earth what it is that you need. You need more shade so that Mother Earth can let the trees know to grow more shades, to grow in a certain way for you. Imagine what that would be like to be able to communicate with the energies around you. And tell them what it is that you need. And to start to work with you. to transform energy that does not support you and turn it into energy that will be able to allow you to thrive. And to start to co-create with the air, with the sun, all of that. Perhaps now you may not understand or know the benefits of this. And that's okay. More is to come. For now, just hold, hold that intention. Hold the intention if it resonates with you. to start to allow for this connection again. The connection with earth, with sun, with nature. All of that are not separate from you. You're all part of creation, 
part of creation that works together to co-create something better than either one of us would be able to come up with on our own. Start to be open to being inspired by nature. Start by connecting with whatever nature that is close to you even if it's only just a house plant or the tree or the grass that's close to you. Nature has a resilience that is able to bounce back So if it resonates with you, be open to this reconnection with nature. Whether it is one plant or a whole forest, whether it is one bird or all the other animals that fly in the sky. Just hold. Hold the space for this connection. To start. To be healed again. This connection have been distorted. This connection have been in a state of imbalance. It is time to let go of this imbalance. And to start to imagine what it can be like what it can be like when we start to think of nature as being an important part of us, as important as food or water. Let this connection with nature, with all other creations to be just as important. Let's let go of this idea that we are superior. 
than the other creations. It is not about being superior or inferior. That is not the point. Nature has a function. Or oh, the animals has a function. And so do we. We are all part of one big creation. And when we try to think in terms of better or worse, master or slave. We distort our understanding of creation. So let's go back, let's go back to the beginning. Let's go back to when we and nature are part of one creation. Nature served us and we serve them. It is a co-creation. Let us get back to healing our misunderstanding of why we are here on this beautiful planet. To co-create. To co-create with one another. To co-create with all of creation. And let's go back to remembering the best way to walk hand in hand with nature. Nature balances us. Let us value, remember to value this co-creation. There is so much more we can do 
when we co-create with nature. Let us start to heal this disconnection. Let us let go of our belief and nature has to look a certain way to fit in with what we think is beautiful. Nature may not be perfect, but it is beautiful. And it is this imperfection that made nature absolutely healing. And it is only when we start to embrace nature without trying to make nature fit in our schedule or in our way of beauty. That is when we can start to accept ourselves as well. To heal this disconnection in our consciousness. When we start to consciously create this connection with nature to heal and let go of this disconnection that has set in and nature is ours to command. Because when you take the time to connect with nature, nature becomes a part of you. It starts to become an extension of you. will start to work with you. So message for you 
this evening. Should it resonate with you? Is to start. Start. To let go of this disconnection. To think that you and nature are two separate beings. Because you are not. We were all different parts, different creations, different functions. But you're all connected. When you're reconnected with nature, there is so much more you can do. So let go, let go of this disconnection. Become reconnected with nature. Reconnected with your environment. That is all we have to say this evening. We want you to be reconnected. Reconnected with yourself. Reconnected with nature. Because nature is a part of you as well. We love you. And we wish you joy, light, love. Thank you for allowing us this time with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you.